Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about the Obliv Oblivy Scar Felt Letterboard. Um, I was able to uh, purchase this for a discounted price earlier this year. And the felt board includes a stand. It includes a case of um, all the pre-cut letters, numbers, and emojis, and words as well. So this was just kind of an example to show you all the words that came in it and all of the emojis and symbols and things of that nature that were also included. And that's what the felt board looks like. So stay tuned. So hi everyone, as I mentioned today, I'm talking about a felt letter board. So this is the box itself and it was a very lovely box and it has the name on it. And this, um, I butcher the name, but basically it's named Oblivy Scar is the name of it. And when you open it, you're met by this stand, which is adjustable, by the way. It also has like a little wing nut, so you can adjust the back stance. So if you want to stand it on a table or anything like that, um, it includes the plastic tray with all the letters, and I'll get to this shortly, and all the pre-cut words and I'll get to that as well and the board itself the board itself is 12 by 12 um, they also have a um, secondary board that is more of kind of like a weathered look but this is just the standard one that they have and it does have a hanging hook as well so you can either use it on a um, wall or with the stand. Um, it is felt and it does have the little ridges. They, I will tell you, I've only used this once. So it was a little tricky to get some of the like letters and symbols and stuff in there because of the fact that it's so new, it can be a little tight. So you may need to use like maybe um, a plastic utensil or something like that to kind of help get the, the letters in um, and I'll show you a little bit more about this in just a second so let me words as you saw previously and um, it's really I like that they're pre-cut especially for people that need, wanted to use this for um, possibly a wedding or a baby shower or something like that please excuse all the rustling but It includes basic words that people are using, like thankful. My fingers get out of the way. Thankful and party. Memories, if you're doing like a memory board or for a birthday. Blessed. family again like if you're doing a, a reunion or birthday or something um, home happy grateful celebrate again like if you're doing a birthday or baby shower or something like that Graduation. Congratulations. Oh, oh, congrats. Sorry, it's shortened. Love. Mr. and Mrs. for a wedding. I'm sorry, me and you. And one that says R. So basically these would all be things that you would use again for the letter board. Let me show you how to put them on. Um, again, this is this may be a little tricky for me because I haven't done a lot of it. So basically you just line up the small little nubs that are in the back. My webcam probably won't catch it, but if you guys can see it, it's, it has like little plastic tabs. So you basically line them up onto the board and you press them in. Again, since it's a little new, I noticed that it's a little tight. But 
basically you guys get the gist of it. So you can create your little thing and say me and you and you know are in love or like for somebody that's uh, engagement you guys get the the idea but basically that's what you do so let's get to the next thing really quick which is all the pre-cut letters and numbers it comes with a number of pre-cut letters a through z and numbers as well um, i like that it came with everything already all in the little storage container because at least that way you don't have loose stuff running around. Again, I'm sorry for all the rustling. Um, so this is the little plastic container. And if I hold it this way, you guys can see all the little letters. I will say that not all the letters stay in their appropriate little uh, areas because if you do move this around, they do get knocked around. Um, the container itself is pretty sturdy, so I mean, you will have to be gentle with it because it is plastic, but basically, this is what you get. And the letters are all pretty, predominantly, I think, all the same size. So here's an example of like the letter A, and I'll stick some on the board right now so you guys can see that they're, they're a fairly decent size. Oops. And they all have, again, the little tabs. So let me just stick three on so you can yeah. so this is what the letter size looks like um, and if you don't like the white you can always probably paint them spray paint them another color um, so let me pull out a couple of the numbers too so you guys can see the numbers so it comes with numbers basically one through one through zero if i remember correctly i'll just pull out a couple but they're, again, they're pretty simple to use. When I opened the box, it came with a little sheet telling you where the letters were. I wish they kind of would have actually um, stuck stickers or something on there. That's the only con that I found so far. So let me go ahead and put these numbers on there so you guys can see what they look like. But it's fairly easy. This would be great for someone who needs a letter board if you're a parent or you're a teacher or you. you're someone that wants to use a letter board for a party so here's the the numbers look like and the symbols and stuff as you saw in the picture before it comes with a ton of different kinds so it even comes with a couple of like emojis I'm not sure if the symbols are standard with each letter board or there might be a mix of different ones it, they send you to a couple different sizes, but this is like where the symbols are. So they're all kind of like mashed together for a lack of a better term. So it's just like a big pile. So you kind of have to pick through them and I'll just pull out a couple. Um, and then they have like larger ones, like a heart. I was kind of um, happy that they had like money symbols too. Like, um, for, I guess when somebody needed to make a letter board that had currency on it. So that was kind of cool. And then they had like a little leaf and a bunch of different stuff. But these are the ones that I pulled out. So these are the ones I'm putting on the board. And they do have larger ones and they do have smaller, they have like large, medium, and like a standard size. So again, you kind of have to pick through everything to figure out what is what will fit your need for your for your board idea. So those are just some of the the examples. And as you can see the emoji is a little hard to see because of my light, but it's basically like a little surprise face. But I just thought I'd share this with you guys and I like the board overall. The size is um 12 10 by 10. This is a little 10 by 10 board and it seems pretty sturdy, so I'll get some use out of it. Um, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.